commitment from the government in ensuring that they crack down on it in as much as you equally are playing your role as ECOWAS. Yes, uh, I mean, the governments have always expressed their determination, right, to fight against terrorism. And they are at it. The fact is, uh, are there instruments enough, you know, to deal with it? Because this is an existential threat for the region, right? So it is not just a matter of uh, Burkina Faso or Mali. You know, because if it was that, then the Accra Initiative will not come into being. You know, because the spillover effect is going to be horrible. Burkina Faso is the dam. Once it bursts, all the countries around it are going to be inundated, and we need to do that. You know, so there is this understanding between them, but it is very difficult also for ECOWAS to deal fully with countries and the military regime. So we are having a very delicate balancing act between us and them. So when we put this force together, that force will also support national initiatives and negotiations are ongoing, uh, you know, in that respect, uh, you know, to make sure that there is a regional approach and that we don't allow, you know, countries uh, to face this uh, threat alone you know, in their country. So there is that political will, you know, to do that. Now we are looking at the methodologies and most importantly, how do you mobilize resources for that? That is the key question here, particularly enablers, whether you are talking about air power, whether you are talking about night vision goggles for the military and others. Uh, at times, the terrorist organizations have got more firepower than even the national forces, right?